going to go to our, our next um, presenter, uh, Chuck, uh, Chuck CXO from CyberOptive. Chuck is an expert in IT architecture and infrastructure. He's diverse experience with multiple industries and startups has helped him solve the most technical and complex IT problems. He's been the CIO and CTO at numerous companies while focusing on security. His passion is for secure networks is what led him into his love and vision of making cybersecurity solutions accessible to companies of all sizes and a perfect month to be pitching it. So uh, here's a uh, stage is yours, Charles. Oh, cool. Thanks, Matt. Cool. Well, uh, good morning, everybody. Well, it's morning here. I don't know where it is where you guys are at, but uh, the sun is just coming up here in Hawaii. So I want to have a quick conversation with you about uh, cybersecurity and who do you work with in the channel today? Uh, we are definitely channel focused. Uh, we've been in business about 10 years now, uh, but just bringing this offering to the channel in the last year or so. Um, and, you know, you know, who are we? What are we about? Right. So we're a CMMC RPO. We're part of, the, you know, we made Inc. 5000 for our, our second year now and we have strong partnerships. So when it comes down to your cybersecurity stack and you're going upstream to maybe to going to like banks, hospitals or bigger companies as well as smaller companies, the question is, who do you partner with? So, you know, there's all these other like socks out there that are saying, yeah, we're the best we're the baddest ass sock out there. But the question is, who's really running that sock? Where where are their analysts analysts based? So when we started this sock, this is actually my third one. So when we started this one, it's like, well, who's the baddest ass player in cyber? And at the time, you know, this was five years ago, it was FireEye Mandia. And if you look at the T-Mobile breaches, Home Depot, Target, you name it, um, they are the baddest ass cybersecurity firm that has been in the United States for the last 20 years. So when we, we partnered up with them, uh, we are one of two MSSPs that they picked to actually run this program. So what happens is when you when you partner with us, you're actually partnering also with FireEye Mandate, which is now Trellix Google after the acquisitions, but you still have that power behind you. So when you go into those boardrooms and you're you're making your pitches to your your clients and to their boards, like, well, you know, who is this SOC or who is this MSSP? Like, well, I don't know, there's some body from somewhere, you know, we've heard good things about them or whatever it may be. First, when you go in with us, it's like, well, they're backed by Mandia. They're backed by FireEye. These are, you know, long names in the industry um, that you can be rest assured that you will have the presence there. And if any, any documentation you need, we can definitely supply that for you. The other thing is where besides the SIM side of it, we're, we're largely vendor agnostic. So whatever tool stack you're running today, we can most likely can adopt that and bring those logs and stuff into our sim as well. Meaning um, we're not going to force you to use CrowdStrike or force you to use Sentinel One or anything else. We can actually work with pretty much any vendor. Uh, so you don't have to worry about us making you switch out your whole stack or even your customer stack. So a lot of you that might be going upstream and doing co-managed or other things like that. Some of those customers might already have existing products in place that they don't want to remove. So what we can easily do is help you in that journey and get in the door with that customer and just start with just a SOC service. Uh, and from there, you can expand as, as you grow that relationship with the customer. Uh, we can skip this one for right now. Um, so we are CMMC, going for CMMC level two. We are scheduled uh, as soon as that is ready. Uh, so we are in a, in a waiting list right now for CMMC. And those who work with the DoD contractors understand what that is. Uh, we are currently under our SOC 2, uh, so that we are targeting January for that final exam. Uh, so those are two very important things if you guys are in this space. Um, the solutions that we run, the solutions that we recommend, we have about three different products. So as an MSP, you might have two or three or four products in the cybersecurity space. And again, you keep those products. You know, Again, we want to work with you. We want to actually bring in those logs. But if it's something that you don't have that your customer might need, we actually are able to resell those to you or you can sell those directly to your customer um so to really extend your stack as a as a whole the other thing is it's not us saying that these are the best products in the marketplace uh there's gartner forrester um a lot of other research organizations that say you know the products that we're picking and working with are literally the best in the marketplace so when you do go to those customers um a lot of customers are risk averse now so they're actually you know saying well it's a safe bet if i buy crowdstrike because they're upper right in Gartner, and we I hear this over and over and over again. So when you when you do 
uh, meet with these customers. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier conversation versus like, um, yeah, the zero trust vendor, you know, they're based out of who knows where versus like going with a Cloudflare or somebody like that or a Palo Alto, somebody that's more trusted in, the, in these areas. So <clears throat> when you meet with a lot of these customers, the question is, well, what do you implement first, right? So we have this uh, thing really broken down. Uh, the logos are different vendors that we work with, but you know, what do you implement first for your customers? So this article came out by CIS about end of 20, December, 2021. And we can actually walk you through that process. You'll be surprised how many people don't even have these basic controls enabled. So it, it doesn't matter if you're a HIPAA shop, PCI shop, CMMC shop, they all have these basic controls. So you would be actually surprised like what is not actually even implemented today. So uh, this can be my last slide here. Just wanted to go over, you know, why is all this important? Why, you know, why do we focus on Mandy and why do we focus on all these solutions? Uh, one is the uh, threat intelligence. So when you work with other SOCs and other, you know, security providers, will ask them, where, where are you getting your threat intelligence from? So, you know, like, oh, it's self-procured, you know, whatever it is. But then you really dig in to understand where that intel is from, because I can give you story after story after story of where, you know, we're ingesting logs from Cisco, Palo Alto, Meraki, you know, all these different sources, WatchGuard. And we're seeing the logs come in, but the firewall, the firewall did not see the threat, but the threat intelligence that's going through the SIM actually saw like, this is a bad IP. Say it will say, this is this threat actor. They're hitting your network. But again, if the watch guard of the Cisco, whoever else does not have that threat intelligence, uh, they're not going to be able to take action. So that's why you really need a solid threat intelligence background. Um, I'm, I'm also running out of time here. The other thing I just want to go over is the hunting. A lot of socks just re respond to alerts. We actually hunt. So if you follow, find me on LinkedIn, you'll see some of the articles we've been publishing about stuff that we're finding just by hunting. Uh, so super important to realize as well that when you partner with somebody, make sure they're actually actively hunting, not just responding to alerts. Usually if it's an alert, it's too late. Uh, I think that's it for my time right now. I uh, appreciate all your guys' time today. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Chuck, appreciate for your pitch. We appreciate it.